Yeah, here. Half here. An hour after the sure. <clears throat> good, good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna we are going to have some fun comparison this morning. A uh, friend of our channel, Gavi, is here this morning. Gavi brought uh, his uh, personal hand grinder. Okay, so this is the K Ultra. I'm sorry, did I say K Ultra? No, X Ultra. Okay, X Ultra from Easy Presser. Uh, looks pretty. Okay, I mean, as you can see, build quality, uh, magnetic to the bottom. Okay. Magnetic there, aluminum body, and that comes to settings wise. Man, there's a lot of different settings. Yeah, a lot of different settings. Uh, what else is new on this one? Do you know how many settings on this one? A lot. It went revolution maybe like past zero three times. Okay, so this one is uh, it's called X Ultra on Amazon right now. Hold on, let me show you the actual Amazon page. Okay. So uh, this is selling for 170 at the moment, 169 actually. Exact price is 169. Okay, 69. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll try. So the, uh, you have different colors. Yeah. Okay. So this is what Gabi has. Okay. Okay. Look. Uh, let's see here. 169 with different grind setting. Here we go. They have a lot of clicks, guys. As you can see, there's a whole lot of clicks there. You can click. Yeah, 40 millimeter. So this is a 40 millimeter. Okay, I got it. So this is 40 millimeter, kind of gripper. There we go. That's all the what's in the box there as well. Okay. Yep. Okay, got it. What is? So. Uh, by the way, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live stream. Make sure, don't forget to join our Discord as well, folks. Okay, you're going to have some fun with our Discord. So this is about K Ultra. Okay, so this K Ultra is very similar to K Plus. And so this one is 48 millimeter. Okay, so let me explain to you what's the uh, main difference between uh, K Plus versus uh, X Pro. Okay, X Ultra. I don't know why I keep saying uh, X, uh, X Pro, but it's X Ultra. Uh, so this is a brand new hand grinder from Easy Presso. So let's summarize this, okay. 40 millimeter versus, uh, this is 48 millimeter. So it's about eight millimeter larger, okay. So why larger? Is a larger make a big difference? Uh, which means give you a little bit, little bit more uh, Uniform setting, okay, uniform ground, so give you more clarity as well, more balanced cup. So K plus, similar to K Ultra, but so this is no longer makes it. So I have a link uh, for the K Ultra right now. It's about 250 bucks. I mean, K plus came out about a couple years ago, selling for around 200. So I bet you can get still get around, around $200 somewhere, okay? So this K Ultra just came out. X Ultra. Okay, let's, let me rephrase that. Uh, smaller version of it uh, has all the bells and whistle. Okay, plenty of settings. You can go express all the way up to French press, no problem as well. Comes their beer quality. Yeah, you cannot beat K Ultra or K Plus. This is much much better beer quality. Okay. It makes sense, right? You're gonna spend an additional hundred bucks on it, but for the price, for one hundred and sixty, it's right in in between price. It's not cheap. It's not too expensive. Just right. So here's what we're gonna do. So Gav is going to brew his V60 recipe, okay? And I'm gonna brew my V60 as well. It's gonna be identical water, ident identical brewer. Only thing difference is uh, uh, K plus versus uh, X Ultra. Uh, let's you know, let's try the coffee. What's the, let's find out what's the difference between uh, K plus versus X Ultra. And there uh, comes to coffee wise, I'm using my friends at Good Brothers Guatemala, very clean cup. Okay, snickle doodle, marshmallow, and brown sugar. 
the end brown sugar. So it should be uh, pretty uh, fun compared to there as well. It should be really good. All right, hold on a second here. I'm just going to take a look at some uh, live chat. Make sure you're on the live chat too. We got some few people on. Okay. We got some few people on the, our live chat. So make sure you join the live chat. Uh, on the, our Discord live right now, we have uh, friends from all over the country. Okay. So we're going to do a 13 gram dose. Uh, by the way, X Ultra or K Ultra, that comes with this. Uh, this handle is pretty neat. Okay, you can actually check this out. You can turn it over, push that one in. So now you have this pretty cool handle. So this one also compatible with, you know, older K Plus as well. Okay. You know, how cool is this? So I, I think this one thing I like about X Ultra. Okay. A lot more stylish than this ugly handle. But, okay, so this length, right, versus this one. So this one is a little longer, which must give you more leverage. So uh, faster grinder, okay, grind speed. But I really like the, the slickness of this handle as well. It's pretty cool. All right, Gavi, are you ready to brew? Ready. Okay, so Gavi is going to brew. Then I'm going to brew as well. All right, so you got the temperature at 93. And the, uh, at 80. okay, let's change to 90, uh, 93. And I like to do is, Gavi, uh, I like to just add just one score of water, just like so. Yeah, I got it. Okay, shake it. Yep. Because a lot of static. Okay. Uh, comes to grind setting, medium fine. Okay. Some people are asking me, what is a medium fine? You know what? I cannot tell you. But I like to be around under three minute brew time. So I think we're gonna we're gonna go over that, you know, at some point. All right. Uh, comes to my grind setting on my K plus. My grinder setting at almost nine, almost ten clicks. Okay. For Gavi, he has a different grinder setting though. So you're gonna go all the way coarse? I'm gonna go more more coarse than five. Okay. It's gonna more coarse than fine. All right, here we go. So this is the 13 gram. I mean, 13 gram takes no time though. That's it. Mine's already done. I'm just gonna spin it. Yeah. Yep. Pretty fast as well. So this is a uh, reason why I like to add just a tiny bit of water. If, uh, with, without a little bit of RDT, you're going to have a lot of static built in. So it's pretty, pretty clean. Okay. Is that pretty clean? Yeah. yeah. Pretty clean as well for the X Ultra too. Not too much water, just a little bit. That's all you need. All right. Okay. And it uh, comes to, we're going to go 13 gram and uh, we're going to add about 200 grams of water. More like 1 to 15 ratio there. 1 to 15 ratio. Yeah. And you're going to see other shaft as well. Some, uh, some people actually blow out. I'm just going to blow out a little bit. I need to vacuum my floor later though. I'm just going to blow the shaft out. It's messy. Okay. Did you do that? No? I don't usually blow out. Oh, you don't usually blow out the chef? No. Some people do. Okay, some people do. I make a little indent in the middle. Okay, go ahead. So you want to like chopstick? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's the Gavi. He's doing his, own, his thing over there. You know, let's flip the camera so you guys can see both of us in action. There we go. So that's Gavi's over there working on his uh, V60 recipe. And then I'm going to be working on mine. I think I screwed up the.
And for me, I'm, I like to brew about under two minutes. No, I mean around maybe two and a half minutes. Okay, so that's my goal. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to shake a little bit. I'm going down pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Probably because it's coarser. Yeah, I mean, I like to shake it. So, it's going to be slow down your flow. I'm in right now about a minute and 15 seconds right now. So you're gonna go to about 200? I went a little bit over. Okay. But I'm at a minute 20. Minute 20? Yeah. yeah, that's fast. Right now I'm at just under, it's just past two minutes right now. Just under two minutes. All right, I think my coffee should be ready in about any minutes. Gavi is also almost ready as well. Again, this, so this is not a, you know, true test in a way, because we are talking about just only one coffee here. Okay, we just got it. We are talking about the one coffee from my friends at Good Brothers Coffee. One brewing method. If you want to do real test, right? The real side by side, the true comparison, we're going to be making a lot of coffee, okay? We are going to make tons and tons of coffee. We are going to check the TDS. You know what? No, we're not going to do that on this channel. If you, want to, if you want to watch something like that, go, you know, go some other channel for that, okay? This is not that channel. But if you're looking for the, if you're looking at the workflow, what's the difference between the taste-wise, right? Taste, okay? I mean, this is the right channel for you, okay? I mean... Okay. Are you ready, ready to taste? Okay. Why don't you put the top up right there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Gabi, you got the cup over there. Let me get, get Gabi another cup. So, here's my cup. Okay. Why don't you give me a, some of your cup? That's good. All right. And then let me try. So that's yours, right? That's, yeah, that's mine. This is yours. Okay, good. That's my cup. So let's, uh, let's try where the Gabby's cup right here. See, this, this is an X. Ultra. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. That cup definitely needs some help. So this is the uh, X uh, K plus. Okay. Okay. A little better. Okay. A little better. Yeah, but I think yours is way too fast. I what, think what's I, the total time on that? Total time 254. 254? Yeah. Until I took it off from when I started it. 254. I mean, okay, 254 is uh, right on line, okay? That, that's not too fast either. Oh, but I went... What? I went, one, two, I went 236 on the milliliters of water. Two what? 236. 236. Uh, 236, you got 30 grams over. That's not too bad, but you can definitely tear some of that water down yeah. since we only use a 13 gram. But I mean, you can still taste the essence of it. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to my coffee here. Okay. So this is the Gavi's coffee. You can just tell by looking at Yeah, exactly. The color. The color. 
I think we're going to do it one more time on your right. coffee. Okay, why don't you give me a favor? Why don't you go grind coarser? Coarser. I'm sorry, the finer. A little bit more finer. Okay, so we're going to try one more time with the Gavi's coffee. Yeah. Because we have to redeem. Okay. I, I think my coffee is okay. Yeah, so. 120 clicks of this. Yeah. So let me uh, brew with his cup here. Okay. So we're gonna to go another 13 gram dose. Give me a bit. Can you toss the coffee outside? Yeah. Just dump it. Yeah. So we're gonna try one more time with Gabby's coffee. And then see. Right? So we're gonna try it one more time with the Gavis. And then I'm gonna brew it at this time. Okay. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. All right, let's see here. We got some, hold on. We got, we got, uh, I know, live chat, you guys are talking about uh, the blind shaker. I, I bet you guys saw the, the Lance's video, right? The Lance's video about the blind shaker. Yeah. The blind shaker has been around for a long time, by the way. Okay, it's not a new tool. Okay, whoever came out what years ago, so so now people are more talking about it even more. So sometimes we're gonna talk about that here. Okay, I do have a, I think I have a blind shaker here somewhere. Okay, let's uh, let the paper here, get the paper ready. Uh, can you grind the coffee for me? Mm -hmm. yeah, just to add a little bit of... Okay, go ahead. All right. Okay, well, I'm waiting for what Gavi is gonna. Okay, let's see here. We have a two something asking about the pour over kettle. Which pour over kettle? You know what? Just get any gooseneck kettle. All right. Uh, I'm using the Fellow Stack kettle here, the EKG. Uh, I mean, this is great kettle. You know, very sharp looking, right? It looks great performs well, but it is pricey, okay? It's not cheap uh, kettle. So if you're looking for the, if you're a coffee hobbyist, if you're a hobbyist, I go with a fellow kettle, okay? But if you just wanna make some coffee at home, you can get a as good kettle from Amazon for pretty uh, inexpensive, let's put it that way, all right? Okay. So Gene say, uh, oh, Gene tried the, the strawberry coffee yesterday. That's good. All right. Let's give it a try with X, X Ultra. Okay. I went fine as I did. Good. You're going to go X Ultra right here. I think you went too fine. Too fine. Yeah, it's all right. Have to play around with this. Thing. Oh yeah, we gotta. And then, uh, Ricky say, Rich say, there's a yeah, they got a whole bunch, of kettle around thirty or forty dollars for sure. That's how much I got. Right? Yeah, thirty or forty. Yeah, this grind is too fine, so we'll see. We'll see how long it's gonna take. Okay. We got the beef bomb. Just got the gosori, gooseneck from Amazon. There. You know they got a lot of deers on it on Amazon. You know I'm gonna put the link down below when I'm done with. If I see some good deal on gooseneck kettle. Okay. 
Just go all the way up to 200 this time. Okay, let's find out how long it's going to take. Uh, seems to be, even though... Oh. Okay. Hold on a second. Even though, uh, I thought grind setting is too fine, but... Goes pretty quick, still. We're just about two minutes right now. Okay, two minutes right now. Okay, hold on a second here. We have uh, $70, yep. But again, I mean, if you're not looking for good gooseneck cattle, I'm willing to spend about 50 bucks. All right, 50 bucks. The coffee's on two minutes and about 30 seconds. Okay, perfect. All right, 2.30, I like that. Okay, 2.30 on this one. I mean, this, uh, by recipe, this is Pretty good, 230. Okay. okay, so this is the my cup earlier. Give me that. Okay. So let me try X Ultra. By the way, Gavi got this grinder used, okay, uh, from eBay. So it's been seasoned. It's been seasoned pretty well as well. So I'm not worried about, you know, comparing apple to apple because it's been seasoned. So it's been gently used. So, okay, here we go. Cheers. Uh, X Ultra. Man, I don't know. What do you think? Yours is from earlier, still better. Yeah, I mean, goodness, it's not. Uh, you know, I'm gonna ask uh, Gavi directly. Gavi, what do you think about your coffee? My coffee is mediocre at best. So, uh, so that's an X Ultra for you. That's an X Ultra. Uh, Gavi says mediocre at best. Okay, that is unfortunate, right? That, that's unfortunate. So 40 millimeter versus 48 is about eight millimeter. You know, you know that's it does make a uh, difference. I, mean, I have to say, you know, I feel I feel like the large bird give you that more clearly, for sure. And then the fact is, I I rebrew it with uh, X Pro, no X Ultra, right? With uh, identical recipe is around two minutes and thirty seconds, but the taste I'm getting. I mean, what are you getting on that taste here? Go ahead. This is your cup. Okay, so you know what? Let's, uh, let's give some thoughts on this one. Very bitter. Yeah. Very bitter. sour. Yeah, sour as well. Bitter and others. Goodness. I mean, this grinder's... About used, which means it's been used. Yeah. Okay, which means it's well seasoned. Theoretically. 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 Let me see though. So this is a theoretically well seasoned. Unless, unless whoever bought this, they tried it. They didn't like it. They just sell it on eBay right away, half the price. Uh, if you have an extra ultra at home, let me know, okay? If you have an extra ultra, you've been using it for a while, let me know, okay? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Because this grande may not be seasoned, okay? Sometimes people buy it in the first couple of days and see, hey, you know, this is terrible and just, they get rid of it. But you have to give some time to season your grinder. It um, doesn't matter, you know, flapper or conical, yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely, okay, and see what happens. But again, I'm not sure, okay. I, let's assume this has been used, but seems like it's not that, it's not used. I think it's brand new, I have to say. 
Okay. The, when I opened it, every, like, it still yeah. had the... the yeah. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me see your box, too. Okay. I think it's brand new. Yeah. Has the steer, you know, brush steer in the box. Because if you buy used, most people use this one already, so it's not, most likely it's not included. Okay, people already use that. You been using it? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Okay, so. What one you opened it, is it brand new? Like, this was around that. Really? Yeah. Like, the way it comes. You know what, I, I bet you it's brand new. Yeah, I bet you it's brand new. So, uh, what's gonna happen is, uh, it's gonna be, uh, God is gonna use it more and more. It's gonna be uh, seasoned and it's gonna be opens up the flavor, okay? Seems like to me it has a lot of fines. That's why you're gonna have that bitter taste. To start. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I just have to make more coffee. You gotta, you gotta just make coffee. So again, people are watching right now. I mean, I thought, okay? I mean, that, that's my guessing, okay? That's my guessing, all right? That's my theory behind this, why the coffee is not that great, okay? Why mediocre at the best? Uh, let's see here. We have a question from Chips. Uh, is a folding handle K ultra durable? Yes. Uh, I mean, this handle is, you know what? Pretty durable. Okay. This is not. It's no joke. It's really strong. I mean, even with my grinder here. Yeah. I mean, it feels really good. Okay. Yep. Uh, we have an ML. Here we go. Emerson, said, I use my extra ultra a while. I don't feel like, okay, I don't feel like it's phenomenal, but it's good enough. However, small negative thoughts about the, okay, ergonomic, okay? Yeah. Let me see. I would, I would agree with that. Uh, it comes to grab, I mean, you know, that's, for me, I mean, it's fine, okay? It's great. Yeah. If you have big hands, you might Yeah, I mean, if you have a big hands, if you have a small hand, you have issues. Okay, definitely. But yeah, I mean, I mean, this is where a beer grinder. Okay, magnetic on the bottom. Plenty of settings on the top as well. But again, this clicking noise is not. Okay, I have to give definitely edge to uh, K plus. Feel this versus uh, K plus. Okay. Okay. See, I mean, it's, it's definitely. The, the build quality is definitely yeah. superb on the K Plus. Yeah, so I mean, K Plus, which means K Ultra, same thing. Okay, the build quality is, I, I definitely give it to uh, K Plus or K Ultra. But it comes to price, obviously, you have to give it to, you know, X Ultra. But it's about $150 price range, right? So, I mean, that price range, you're going to have a lot more options. Is there other options? Uh, we got, we have a JX Pro. It's around 150 bucks. JX Pro does a really good job as well. So, man, it's gonna be tough. Uh, in about a few months, you're gonna have an electric hand grinders, uh, electric grinder from Turin, uh, 54 millimeter flat burr. It's around $230 range. So, if you are looking for hand grinder markets, uh, let's not forget GP6. GP6 is around $200 as well. GP6 does amazing job. Comes to filter coffee, uh, comes to espresso, forget it. You're not buying uh, GP6 for your espresso. But if you are something more versatile, uh, K, okay, K or X, okay, especially X Ultra or K Plus, I mean, X Ultra give you a lot of range. I mean, it's a lot of range. You can go really, really fine on that. 120 clicks. Yeah. Find the course, yeah. So. I mean, so you're, you're gonna have a lot of options for that. So, so. You know, it makes sense. It, it fits in that range where it hits espresso all yep. the way to pour over. So I, I'm looking at the, my selections over there, but yeah. Hold on a second. You, Hold on a second. Here we have, uh, if you don't handle properly, yes, setting can be, yes, magnetic couple, weaker than on J Max, K Max. Okay, K Max, K Plus, uh, that's pretty much the same thing. Hold on, let me see. MO is 
talking about the uh, I, I can't okay I know why you're saying that it's not strong okay spins pretty easily compared to okay yep definitely magnetic is strong on K for sure okay but with this yeah it's a little weaker okay I have to say but just make sure handle okay, on the top. If not, you might want to kind of like rip it out open. So that's the reason why I prefer screw bottom than magnetic. Magnetic, you know, that's a lot convenient. But I prefer the. Hold on a second, here, folks. So this is a Easy Press uh, GP6. Okay. Uh, somewhat similar design to X Pro, so this screw top, okay, makes it a lot easier. All right, but the but base is uh, pretty narrow. You can, it's gonna tip over very easily. Compared to, you know, K, obviously, you know, they have they have a heavy bottom as well, the wider bottom. Let's put it that way. So. Anyway, I hope uh, this video helps. Uh, if you are thinking about getting uh, X Ultra, I mean for the price, okay, I'm talking about for the price. Uh, it's right in that range, okay, right in that range. But but if you really want to get better cup of coffee, if you are into filter, I think I I like to nudge you into like K Ultra, if you can get a K plus somewhere, K ultra, K plus, K max. I believe they are the pretty much the same birds anyway, and the different features. So, so I mean, definitely I go that route. But you are looking at over two hundred dollar range. So if you are willing to spend two hundred, man, uh, you're gonna have some more options too. So, I mean, having an option is great, but some can uh, sometimes it can be a little, little hassle, right? You know, you really gotta research. Okay, you have to really research. So, anyway, what else is here? Let's see here. Uh, Emil, uh, Emil, Emil. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. By the way, uh, check if there are chip in burrs. Only Axel Try had burr problem uh, when outer burrs. Okay, was breaking. Interesting. Okay, interesting there. So you might want to check. Yeah. Check the burrs. Check the burrs. I mean, you can just say dismantle everything. Okay. I mean, don't do it right yeah. now, but yeah. I mean, they're little, yeah. It's not that hard to break it apart, but yeah, dismantle. All right. Okay, let's see here what else. Ricky said, the rich say, I have no power till Thursday. What? What do you mean you have no power till Thursday? Today's only Tuesday. That is unfortunate, buddy. So been set, uh, setting for Starbucks for the last couple of days. Okay. That's not that bad either. Okay, Starbucks there. Use their internet. They do have a pretty good internet, by the way. All right, guys. We've been talking for about 33 minutes. And I'll be back shortly. Okay, let me clean this place up. All right. Let me clean this place up and then let's make some strawberry milkshake. Okay. I'm going to make Gabi the strawberry milkshake with a strawberry co-fermentation from my friends at Good Brothers. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah, I cannot wait to make this. So strawberry milkshake, the reason why I like to call it strawberry milkshake, I'm going to make a little bit of cortada and then I'm going to add some little bit of sugar. I'm telling you, it tastes amazing. Okay. This is more like dessert coffee. So I'm going to see you guys in about 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, uh, maybe like five, five, 10 minutes. Okay. See you guys pretty soon. Don't go anywhere. All right.